These lovely ladies are lined up for milking at Cool Lawn Farm in Remington, Virginia. Just one of three daily milkings. These Holstein cows don't know there's a coronavirus pandemic, but Ben Smith does. Started seeing these COVID-19 deductions, um, and it's it was really about 40, 30 to 40 percent of our milk check just gone. Ben and his father Ken run this dairy farm. It's been in the family going on five generations. We just keep on going. That's that's the thing with uh, you know the American farmer. We're the backbone of the country and. We just don't break. We keep we keep going. COVID-19 devastated the dairy business because their biggest customer, schools, and the thousands of students who need and want to drink milk. Families in need that had young children that are no longer in the school system because of schools closing, that are not getting their, their basic nutritional requirements. So when the supply chain was choked off, the community came to the rescue. The PATH Foundation, a nonprofit committed to community health and nutrition, heard about the Smith's plight. So PATH teamed up with a local conservation organization, the Piedmont Environmental Council. With the Smith family, we were able to connect to a local processor and bottler um, that, that buys a lot of the milk from local dairy farms in our community and we raised money uh, to buy that milk and donate it to those who need it the most uh, local food banks in our area. So this partnership between PATH and Piedmont has allowed Cool Lawn Farms to stay operational during the pandemic, while at the same time helping to feed the hungry. Put them in the cold room for right now. Sharon Ames okay. runs the Fauquier Food Bank in Warrington, Virginia. There's now milk in these coolers, something that was tough to get when the pandemic hit, but something her clients desperately needed. And when you see more than one mother hug a gallon of milk with tears, you know what it meant. And, and we get to see that. The community has stepped up. The community has helped me. The community has given to us. But we get to see that. Farmers are like uh, superheroes. Instead of saving the world, we're feeding it. In Remington, Virginia, I'm Tammy Arinder for RFD-TV.